Brian Goody, professor of town planning in Oxford Technical University, presented the square in Paleo Faliro entitled A Place in the Sun in the Council of Europe under the title Urban Cultural Life in the 80s. He analyzed the use of the square throughout the day and the use of this sculptured space by the passers-by. He placed emphasis on the eight seats, which, as he says, are a gift of flexibility and surprise, formed in stone, concrete, and wood. Their angles and surfaces support a variety of uses. Backs are always two ways. Wings could be vantage points. Wooden backs and flat attract the older. Children clamber, command, bounce balls. Some read. Average sitting time is around 15 minutes. A small space, kindly shared. There is also a fountain that does not resemble the old fountains. It is a fountain where water sprouts from round holes made of white marble, arranged in horizontal axes, like natural springs which fill up the marble cistern. This specific design helps children to use the fountain in order to slide and play with water. They are also close to the sculpture and use it as a toy, without realizing that it is a work of art. All these features define the living part of this project. Music is present here in the whisper of tree leaves, the chirping of birds, the voices of the children, the noise of the water flowing in the fountain, and the noise of the sea in front of the square. All these sounds complete Golanda's architectural synthesis. As we can see, this conception of space was already evident in her early engravings. The solution was given with the transition from the engravings upon the walls to the third dimension, which is the total art. The sculptured key is a natural extension from the highway towards the sea of Flisvo Square. This is the first out of the three projects that I presented at the Congress of Prague in 1993. The objective was for this element to be part of the landscape and to form a unit by passing through the plastic rhythms of the environmental mobility and the natural sea rhythm in the arrangement of the whole area. To highlight the communion with the sea and the feeling that someone can walk upon the water, the key floor, nearest to the sea, is given a 3% inclination towards the side of the sea. They give the impression that they are ready to walk or fly over the surface of the sea towards the horizon. The sculptured seats were designed to absorb the events of the landscape within their rhythm, such as the sea waves, the forms of the boats and the ocean liners, the flying gulls, and the forms and the shapes of the mountain peaks on the island of Egina. The focus is specifically on the relationship between the visitors and the landscape. The second project presented in Prague in 1993 was the landscape restoration of the old quarry of Exoni, which is found on the outskirts of Glyfada and the foot of Mount Imitos in Athens. An abandoned quarry site measuring a surface of 1.5 acres. It was a terribly neutral and indifferent landscape with frequent dangerous collapses. Basically, the sculpture which was developed is a large retaining wall. The restoration in this case was like capturing the landscape as we would approach an archaeological site in Greece. We justified the disruption of the natural landscape in order to reveal an archaeological site. In this case, we would reveal a crystalline structure, a large sculpture with complexes of plant fossils. A container that gives birth to new art events. The design was completed in such a way as to receive the spectators and to create human relations, mutual relations and relations with the arts to become an interactive way of humanizing the public daily life in the Mediterranean landscape. The Exoni Sculpted Theatre was inaugurated in 1992 with the celebration of the 70th birthday of the great Greek composer and architect Ioannis Xenakis.
Extract from the presentation in the Venice Architectural Biennale 2016. The emergence of the ancient theatre in the city centre led me to suggest the reconnection of the post-war city of Larissa with its lost natural and historical landscape and in particular with the flow of its great river Pineos. The holistic design of this project of Larissa was presented in Prague, which includes the two central squares of the historical city centre. The pedestrian connection and the surrounding of the ancient theatre of the 3rd century was constructed from 1992 to 1998. It is now Official Candidate of Greece in the 5th Landscape Award Session 2016 to 2017 of the Council of Europe in the context of the European Landscape Convention.